New at 6 tonight, KTVU's Christina Rendon has more from Mutters and what you should know. The stories are all similar. It was the next morning I had to start noticing I had breakouts on my stomach. Dozens of Tough Mudder participants left with a rash after crawling through mud, jumping in water, and conquering obstacles. Like any part of my body that like touched the ground, because we do those like army, army-like mud crawls, um, had kind of red spots. Participants tell KTVU red bumps appeared on their arms, chest, and legs after competing in the obstacle course challenge at the Sonoma Raceway over the weekend, and they're posting about it on Instagram and Reddit. Riley Wills of Santa Rosa got it the worst out of his friends. My DMs just kept filling up with people saying, oh my gosh, we got it too, we got it too, we got it too. People might think they have a staph infection or swimmer's itch, but the Sonoma County Health Department's interim health officer tells me they're operating under the assumption this is likely a bacterial infection called Aramonas, a bacteria that lives in water and contracted through open skin. It is not contagious. We want to be sure that we make people aware that if you attended this event and you have a rash and you have, you know, fever, aches, you just don't feel well or your, your rash is progressing, we want you to go see your doctor. Dr. Karen Smith says one mutter went to an infectious disease doctor who sent a sample to the lab and confirmed it was Aramonas. And then we want doctors to have the right information so they know which things to consider, staff being one of them. But what we don't want to have happen is for, um, because it looks like staff, and it really does, um, we don't want them to treat just for staff and find out it's something else. I've heard of at least around 350 um, on a, in an email thread that I got myself involved in. Tough Mudder sent an email to participants saying they are aware of reports of some people experiencing an adverse health reaction and they're investigating. But participants say they've heard this is not the first issue with Tough Mudder in Sonoma County. They knew about it last year. Why couldn't they have just said something? I've heard that it's been a known problem in Sonoma for some time, which is even more disappointing because I'd, I'd love to see Tough Mudder, you know, proactively deal with the issue if, if it's a known problem. I'm definitely second guessing next year unless they do something different. Christina Rendon, KTVU, Fox 2 News.